Welcome to this tutorial for ASAP. ASAP is an acronym for Assemble Species by Automatic Partitioning and represents a bioinformatic tool designed to propose primary species hypotheses based solely on DNA sequences, typically DNA barcode-like datasets. Similar to another tool called ABGD, ASAP will rely solely on genetic distances calculated between individual sequences to propose species hypotheses. However, to circumvent the need to define prior values, as in ABGD, ASAP employs a new approach. In the first step, each sequence is treated as a separate subset, forming the initial species partition. Each subset can be regarded as a species hypothesis. Subsequently, in a hierarchical process, Sequences will be grouped based on their genetic distances. The second step involves grouping sequences with the lowest genetic distance into one subset, forming a single species hypothesis. This process will continue in successive steps until reaching a partition with a single subset, that is, a partition where all sequences are grouped in a single species hypothesis. At each merging step, the newly defined partition is characterized in two complementary ways. First, we assign to it a probability that quantifies the chances that each of its new subsets is a single species. Second, we compute the width of the barcode gap between the previous and this new partition. Both metrics, probability and barcode gap width, are combined into a single metric, the ASAP score that is used to rank the partitions. The lower the ASAP score, the stronger the support for the partition, now, let's see how it works in practice. We here illustrate the use of ASAP in the form of the standalone executable distributed in the iTaxo Tools project. There are also web-based versions of ASAP for which you find the links on the iTaxo Tools website. For running the standalone version, you open the tool by double-clicking the executable and then click on Open to select your FASTA file that contains the alignment of sequences you want to analyze. Uploading your alignment will give you access to the different options. First, if you chose to directly upload a matrix of genetic distances instead of an alignment, click on the Mega CSV button. Otherwise, by default, the program will assume you have uploaded an aligned FASTA file of DNA sequences. You can then choose how many partitions will be displayed by ASAP and the probability that quantifies the chances that each of the new subsets is a single species. Below this threshold, which by default is 0.01, ASAP will consider that the corresponding subset actually includes several subsets or species hypotheses. Finally, you can also choose among four substitution models to calculate the genetic distances. When you are ready, click on Run to start the analysis. The results are provided in several output files. The program window allows you to explore this in the viewer. The first output file named Scores tab is a table that summarizes for each of the 10 best partitions the number of species and the ASAP score, among other information. Remember that the lower the ASAP score, the better the partition. The second output file called Partitions tab provides some more detailed statistics for all the partitions tested by ASAP. The third output, Groups, is a figure showing the list of samples in front of vertical boxes that correspond to each group defined in each of the 10 best ASAP partitions and a distance-based tree. You can thus directly compare the partitions and in particular, which species hypotheses are split or lumped in the different partitions. The two next output files, called histogram and ranks, are the pairwise distribution of the genetic distances and the distribution of the genetic distances ranked from the lowest to the highest. Note that these figures can be previewed in small sizes and low resolution in the program, but for higher resolution, they can be saved along with all other output files in the vector-based SVG format. The file called Species includes on top the 10 best ASAP partitions, represented on a graph with the corresponding genetic distance on the x-axis and the ASAP score on the y-axis. On the bottom, the distance-based tree is represented again. The next files called Total SPART and Total SPART XML provides the 10 best ASAP partitions in the two alternative SPART formats. 
and the 20 next files provided include each one of the 10 best partitions with a list of all individual sequences included per partition, first in text format, and then in CSV format. Finally, the last file, ASAP log, simply reports a summary of the analysis performed as well as the results. As a last step of your analysis, you can click on the Save button and save all output files to a folder of your choice. For further interpretation of the results, see the original publications of ASIP and the documentation and help files on the iTaxo Tools website. Always remember that the subsets suggested by ASAP constitute primary species hypotheses that should not be uncritically accepted, but should be checked with additional integrative evidence.